Welcome to Recyclist. It's April 14th, 2023. I'm your host, Eric Provost, and this is your weekly roundup of all the biggest news stories in the world of waste, gas, and energy presented by Diamond Scientific. Cleveland, Ohio is reporting that recycling contamination is now down to 15% after sitting at more than 60% just two years ago. This comes following an overhaul of the city's recycling program. The city had abandoned curbside collection for two years, largely due to the contamination issue and from costs skyrocketing, but signed a new contract in 2022 with Rumpke to restart services. Major elements of the overhaul include an opt-in program and a greatly expanded education program. More and more families are joining in, and the number of households that have opted in has doubled from last summer. On the flip side, Concord, New Hampshire just approved a 10-year solid waste contract with Casella, which will see them move away from curbside pickup and begin an automatic collection system. The new agreement, recently approved by the City Council, will go into effect July 1, 2024 and will see Casella beginning to transport their loads to a waste-to-energy facility in Pinnacook owned by Waste Innovations, instead of the previous route to a landfill in Bethlehem, New Hampshire, over 80 miles away. The contract includes a provision that mandates the city adopt an automated collection system by July 1, 2028, following a two-year pilot set to start on or before July 1, 2028. In other news, San Francisco-based waste and recycling firm Recology says it has achieved a goal it set four years ago to power its fleet with 90% renewable or alternative energy sources. Recology CEO Sal Caniglio said, quote, We made a commitment in 2019 to significantly reduce our use of conventional fossil fuels. In hitting this mark, we achieved one of the most ambitious fleet goals in our history. End quote. By shifting to cleaner fuels, optimizing collection routes, and introducing electric trucks, Recology says it has reduced its fleet emissions by 44% over three years from 2019 to 2022. Truck manufacturer Peterbilt recently announced a new partnership with Lincoln Educational Services Corporation. Lincoln Tech's Nashville campus will now offer the Peterbilt Technician Institute program, directly preparing students to become Peterbilt service technicians. Peterbilt General Manager Jason Skoog said, quote, This partnership ensures students will receive the best in-class training, obtain valuable certifications, and be placed in technician positions at Peterbilt dealerships, end quote. Peterbilt's goal is to double the number of technicians in their dealer network within five years. Back in Pennsylvania, the Pennsylvania Resources Council is launching an initiative funded by the Posner Foundation of Pittsburgh to combat food waste. The goal is to empower individuals to eat well, save money, and waste less by implementing easy, practical, and strategic methods for preventing and reducing food waste. The aim is to not only address food waste as a global issue, but also to help the 1 in 11 Pennsylvania residents currently experiencing food insecurity, according to PRC Executive Director Darren Spielman. The motto for this educational campaign is, quote, We can stop food waste one decision at a time, end quote. The U.S. Environmental Protection Agency reports individual households generate approximately 40% of all discarded food in the U.S. Speaking of the EPA, it recently took an important step to advance their PFAS strategic roadmap. The EPA is issuing an advance notice of proposed rulemaking asking the public for input regarding potential future hazardous substance designations of PFAS substances under the Comprehensive Environmental Response Compensation and Liability Act, known colloquially as Superfund. 
This request for input and information follows the EPA's September 2022 proposal to designate two PFAS substances, as well as their salts and structural isomers, as hazardous substances under the Act. A Federal Register notice has been published and can be viewed at www.regulations.gov and comments will be open through June 12, 2023. Going back to California, the Santa Barbara City Council unanimously approved a new agreement with longtime trash collection partner Marborg worth hundreds of millions of dollars over the next 15 years. According to the new contract, the city will continue to pay Marborg the flat rate of $18,695,000 over the next two years, with the rate gradually increasing from 2026 through the remainder of the agreement for a total sum of more than $300 million. And lastly, a beautiful story coming out of Cape Coral, which saw a waste pro trash collector come to the rescue of a new bride. Following her wedding reception, Brittany Thompson was horrified to find she had lost her grandmother's sapphire bracelet, a gift from her father before the wedding that was to be her something blue. After spending the night searching, it was decided the bracelet must somehow have wound up in the trash. The family were thankfully able to find and flag down the waste collection truck that picked up the trash and explained the situation. The driver then coordinated with his supervisor to dump the truck somewhere safe. After half an hour of everyone searching each bag they could find, they were miraculously able to find and return the bracelet to the young bride, who said, quote, So many emotions were racing through me as I ripped into each bag of trash. I was praying we would find it, but didn't think we really would. I cannot thank Waste Pro enough. Without them, my grandmother's bracelet would have been lost forever. End quote. And that has been your Recyclist News Roundup for April 14th, 2023, brought to you by Diamond Scientific, an industry leader in gas analysis, instrumentation, and solutions. You can check them out online at diamondsci.com, that's diamondsci.com, or call them at 321-223-7500. I've been your host, Eric Provost. Thank you for tuning in to Recyclist. We will see you next week. Many of today's stories were sourced from Waste Advantage Magazine.